Hi! Hi, Ron! It's me here from Mighty Lands again. You're welcome! <laughs> it's just having a little chill out there, were you, sweet? I was, I thought we still had 40 odd seconds. I was just having a little relax. Hi, everyone! <laughs> Hi, Methusis! Hi, John! Hi, Hi Tony! Tony. Hi, Hi, Pete! Hi, anybody else <laughs> that might be lurking there in the backy ground. Uh, this evening, I'm going to be painting this little chap. He's a Reaper Goblin. Oh, Pete's really to hydrate. Thanks, Pete. Hydrate. I thought you had Coke. <laughs> why did I think you had Coke? Because I brought you. Oh, I know, but why did, oh, my, why my, did I think you had Coke? My phone's going to be pinging and dinging and all that. Oh, thank you very much, John. Hey, John. Hi, Wicked D. Hey, Wicked D. Well, just before I forget, Wicked D isn't streaming tonight. Why not? Do you want to be any more noisy next time? Oh. Sorry, forgot forgot about that. Jesus. <laughs> so, yep, so just us, unfortunately. Yeah, Nathan Nathan did look like he was snoozing, didn't he? He's looking a bit um, dishevelled this evening. Yeah. Yeah, he's looking like he's had a really hard day. I am had a really hard day. <laughs> I have had a really hard day. It's yeah. been, uh, it's been tasking. One of the uh, taxing. One of the staff members had to go home, uh, so he's had to do extra work. Yeah, I had all sorts of things planned. Yeah, look how rough he looks now. <laughs> doing some proper work. <laughs> all sorts of stuff. All oh, good oh. fun. All yeah. good fun. I've uh, I have got a new telephone. Uh, yes. And uh, I haven't, definitely... haven't quite figured out all the things so all the pinging and what's have you over there even though i've set it on silent it's still doing whatever it wants so uh, <laughs> definitely's got a question for you okay definitely says is this the day when mr mlg finishes six projects no oh, just one just he's one. aiming to just paint this guy which i think is a bit of a cop out um and should easily be done no oh, no i'm gonna i'm gonna get this guy done and maybe if i've still got time do a bit on the dwarf i mean we can't see what you're painting but you know. okay why not well, why do you think <sighs> so uh today i was uh, not at the computer today which is uh, unlike me uh, i was sorting magic the gathering cards out and i was doing no. it in the living room with the fire lit i mean come on that's uh, Luxury. That's luxury, isn't it? So, I was in there and I was watching YouTube on the telly, which is the first. Never done that before uh, because the television didn't have any good programs on it. And I was watching, uh, I can't say his name properly, Josh Strife Pays. I'm sorry for completely butchered that for anybody else who watches it. No, I think that's right. Um, but I've seen nearly all of them now. So, I was re watching ones I've already watched and I thought to myself, what would be a good idea would be to watch one of our streams to see uh, how rubbish it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I watched one of our streams, which is awful because then I had to listen to my own voice, which is just terrible. Hate but I also realised that the microphone had wound its way all the way back towards the wall, so we were really quiet. And then when adverts came on, like they do on YouTube, they were really, really loud. So we have moved the microphone closer to, again, so I hope that that is a better level of sound now and you can hear us better than before. Please let me know. And I hope I've got the music at a better level so that you can hear it, but it isn't too loud that you can't hear us. So you'll have to let me know these things uh, and then I can try and do something about it if that's not the case. That little guy is so tiny, he's not really being picked up on the camera. You'll have to keep bringing him up to show us. Okay. So, yeah. Um, and I've also uh, changed the setting on the microphone that mm. should so make it, it better. better for picking us both up. It definitely says sounds good. Yes, I've not had my... Yes, I've not had to turn my PC volume up to 45 to hear you today, <laughs> says Wicked T. <laughs> It had somehow, from us like just moving paintbrushes and paint, it had, it had wound its way all the way miles away at the back. Well, it's not miles away, is it? At the back of the desk rather than near Nathan's face. Hey, Battlebane! Mm, yo. 
Big Saddlebane says, hello everyone, hope everyone is having a good evening. We are now, because yep. you're here. Yes, yeah, so I've, been, I've been starting magic cards out um, very, very slowly and cringing watching ourselves on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> We're terrible. Why do you lot watch us? I, 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 can't, I don't get it. <laughs> I've got a little this little um, flame guy to paint that I'm still putting off. He's definitely, if I get him done, he's definitely going to be a out of my comfort zone entry because he's definitely not in my comfort zone. It's terrible. I also I also figured while I was um, watching our own streams that I talk too much. No. All I do is talk. Hey, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. All the time. It's just you should yaggedy, talk. yaggedy, yaggedy. You should talk all the time. It's awesome. No, but you're doing the painting. I know, but I, can't, I can't, are but, but I can't talk and paint. People people watch to listen to you and watch me, obviously. So, yeah. I can't, I can't do two things at once. Not like all those uh, pro painter type people who seem to be good at multitasking. Well, we're definitely not pro at anything. Mm -hmm. This is my um, my base. I used PVA uh, glue, and red and black sand from the Brian Clegg range uh, that we sell. They're really cool sand, and um, that's what it looks like. It might get a bit of a dry brush of black because I think my other ones are darker. I think your other ones are darker. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Battle Bay says, I've been trying new painting methods and paints. Ooh, Ooh. what have you been doing? Yeah, what have you been There's trying out? There's a Pokemon in chat as well. Did you listen to yourself in two times speed yet? That is funny. So Wicked D was trying to find something on one of our streams. So was watching us, but didn't want to watch us at you know, normal speed because, you know, that's boring. So put us on double speed and then right. laughed her little, <laughs> her little pants off. Uh, because we sounded like Pinky and Purple. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... <laughs> You're pro at running a community. <laughs> oh dear. Well, thank thank you try. very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Shake that over there so it's not too Hitmon no Lee, one, whatever a Hitmon Lee is. No one caught it. I, I was a bit slow in telling people it existed, though, to be fair. What's going on there? There's like a weird greeny lump on me. Oh, we're going to have to sort that out. On his axe, I must have blobbed with the green paint. Got a green blob on his... Uh, <laughs> Everyone's going to uh, try making us... <laughs> Battlebane says, just been trying dry brushing a bit more and used a half slap chop method. I have. Oh, it moved. I also been a massive fan of the new Vallejo range. So there you go. Yeah. Yes, I, I am using some uh, Vallejo Express colour this evening. Just need to uh, sort that little bit of blob out on there. Get our uh, sacrificial ceramite white out. For a so Mr. MLG is painting this Goblin Warrior, uh, which is a Reaper miniature, and obviously uh, we have the Reaper miniatures in. Um, right at the bottom of his screen on purpose, so you can't see it. <laughs> He's painting that for the Reaper Challenge League. Uh, which you can find out more information on the Reaper Challenge League in our Discord, as you all know. Uh, and this is for a trio, I do believe, isn't it? It is, yeah, with you and uh, Asma. So we all, three people paint the same miniature, and obviously a different take on them, because three people are, different people are painting them. And then uh, it's super cool to see how everybody paints them differently, despite them being the same mini. Right. Gonna have to. He's a bit, little bit wet. We're gonna have to put him over there for a second. I've got this. Uh, I've got this human. Why wizard. don't you do your dwarf? What, because, why are you because, starting because, something else? Panda's crying. 
Why? Why? Because because the dwarf a really involved project. Yeah, and but I can't... you can just do a bit while you're waiting for it to dry. Mm. It seems very ridiculous okay. that you would want to start something else. Fine, again. we'll do some carrot top red. <laughs> Definitely said. Added a mini blind bag to my recent order. I am expecting only the finest bag of Mrs. MLG's fair. Well, the the miniature ones are all made up ready, and they're all at the shop. Who, so who, who is it said that? Definitely. Ah, right, okay. Have you picked one today? It's, it's, yeah, it's all picked and ready. I'll oh. be, uh, we'll so be I, cracking it in the morning. I made the bag, you picked the bag, and we'll be putting it in a box. Yeah. Oh, I see. Proper team effort. All ready to go in the morning. There we go. Let's get Busty McBusts and... Mm -hmm. John says, This music always reminds me of Let's Go All The Way by Sly Fox. You should look it up after the stream. Now, now my brain's going, that doesn't sound particularly family friendly. Well, that's right, he says after the stream. <laughs> well, you can't look it up now. No. <laughs> uh, Battle Bane says, I think I did pretty well, really. Impressed with the Vene Vallejo New White. Uh, Cru Crusader White, is it? Or Templar White? I've got some here. Wicked says, are the blind bags all Reaper are all they mixed? They are mainly Reaper, but they do have some of the other one. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Blacklist. That's right, Blacklist. Which, which are cool minis too, to be fair. The dog is uh, kicking I mean, Mr. MLG I mean, a little desk. fit under the table. I don't know uh, but that. yes, Reaper and Blacklist. But there are more Reaper than there are Blacklist. It's fine. Uh, just some... a mildly suggestive title, says John. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we've gone all smooth now. Smooth jazz. Smooth. This always reminds me of Vernicula. I do like Vernicula. I think I should just have to start watching Vernicula on my own again. <laughs> I'll watch Vernicula. It was alright. Quite enjoyed it. Uh, Vinicula is a, is a kid's cartoon about a vampire rabbit that doesn't eat people. I'm trying to make your, your bus better, but I'm failing miserably. Oh, yeah, well, it is going to take a bit of polish in this. No, no, I'm, I'm the camera, sweetie pie. I'm the camera. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, a cartoon about a vampire rabbit. It's based on some books, but the books are actually nothing like the cartoon. Uh, to be fair, I was a little bit disappointed with the books. Because I've watched the cartoon first, you see, that was the problem. Um, but he doesn't eat people. He, he, he um, eats vegetables. Suck, yeah. Sucks the juice of vegetables to sustain himself. And he's super cool. And it turns into uh, different things depending on what his vegetables yes. he's been eating. <laughs> yes, he does. Yeah. Uh, Deathly is going to glaze some red on that nose. Are you going to glaze some red on that nose? I might, I might glaze some red on that nose. Let's read that out like it was. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Intended. Can we have a redeem treat, Gizmo? I don't think he needs any treats. You won't be able to see me doing it there. He's made a, a weird yeah, little put, nest. Put them on the table. He's made a weird little nest out of his bed, uh, so Mr. MLG can no longer wheel his chair. Uh, is he? He's there, right there, is he? He's right there, so... Yeah. I wonder if that camera will work, if I plug that camera in. Maybe. Can we have a play? You'll have yeah. to talk. Going against Gilliman tomorrow, hope I can get uh, Grimaldus, is that right? Before the game, as I've heard, he's a beast. And you've uh, got to put a hat on. Nice. Nice. Oh, and here's, here's what I've prepared earlier. Here we go. <laughs> Yo, mate. You are, right? uh, I've, uh, I've got a game scheduled tomorrow. My uh, Night Lords are getting another outing. Uh, tomorrow they will be fa facing uh, Jim's Imperial Fists in a, uh, a game. I think we're both using the lists that we are planning on taking to Warhammer Fest. Is it working? I don't know. Oh, sorry. It takes a little bit more preparation than that, <laughs> you know. Redeem belly rubs. <laughs> um, this involves me now remembering how to do this. Well, don't walk off, dog. <laughs> he knows, he's run away. It's 
so this is uh, this is carrot top red from Reaper that I'm using. So this is this is the uh, the red hair triad that we're using. So we used auburn shadow, carrot top red, and then we've got some highlight orange. I don't know if you can still uh, actually buy the redhead red hair triad because they discontinued a bunch of paints, didn't they? Wikidee says, is it just my PC or has Twitch chat changed? I keep getting things like little light reddish highlights on mentions and replies and pit redemptions show the amount of points. Are you in um, mod mode? Because I said that to you when, when we watch yours. I get boxes around everybody and Raider written on it now. Uh, I can't see anything uh, like that my end. And definitely says you want... Dwarf looks good. Thank apart, you. Apart from the stutter. <laughs> That's just a me thing. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's, uh, I am enjoying painting it. I mean, uh, the ones that I have seen photos of online are absolutely awesome, and I know that I can't do it to that kind of level. But I am enjoying painting it, and I am pleased with how he's turning out so far. He's purposely moved now. What a git. <laughs> I can't, uh, I just can't get my head around. Like when I see um, pictures of, of some of the painting on the, uh, like the web, various websites, they seem to have a particular style. Like, so the busts that are painted on the Green Stuff World site and, uh, and what have you. That's, just from, the, that's from John, that. The, um, yeah. <laughs> is that is that? Yeah, look at the cutie puppy. Treat from John, ah, yeah. Is that tasty, <laughs> tasty treats from John? Is he? Yeah. yeah. It's uh, the level of painting. That's what I'm trying to get. At. The level of painting is just absolutely amazing. I don't, don't know, know how. What to do with that. Don't know how they can get the the smoothness of shading and what have you in there that they're getting in. It's uh, it's crazy. He's my good boy. And, and I've watched uh, YouTube videos of Angel Geraldes. Uh, doing it, and it, and it just seems like magic. <laughs> he, uh, one second he, he goes like, ah, and then uh, and then you do this, and then the next minute his mini looks absolutely amazing. And I'm like, how 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 did you do that? I'm rewinding it. Yep, yep. I'm doing that stage. Yeah, I'm doing that stage. Oh no, yep. That's it. You're still. Hey, Tonica. Hi. That's what. Uh, that's the thing that really puts me off. Um, Infinity. I think the models look absolutely amazing, but the paint jobs on the boxes <laughs> just are too intimidating. Yeah, yeah, we could do. I think it's a new update for the mod thing. But those ones with the red boxes round, of course, they mention you. How was he doing? So it used to have like a black yeah, we'll, background. We'll have, a, we'll have a switch over. So, so there's there's some little highlights done on his beard, which uh, I think looks pretty cool actually. Quite happy with that. Let's put him on to one side for a minute and let's do a bit more goblin yeah so we had a, we had a gizmo cam then yeah it was good <laughs> now gizmo cam's just showing my terrible uh, terrible mouse mat that's really just a piece of cardboard <laughs> it's, not, it's not showing anything at the well, moment well done because I switched it off but this is, <laughs> this is my mouse mat that's just a piece of cardboard because I've had to put it down you see. <laughs> so there you go. So now you all know. Mrs. Uh, Mrs. MLG and I both use uh, card game play mats as mouse mats normally. No, not as my mouse mat. That's my. Don't you? No, that's, that's... no, that's just for your keyboard. Yeah, it goes on. Yeah, because otherwise it, it's cold for my for my hands. Yeah, oh, right. Oh, right. I, I I use mine as a mouse mat. No, because because I have a ridge. Uh... I have a ridge here, so it it wouldn't go down. Right. But anyway, no, mine is piece of cardboard. And and it's grey cardboard apart from those uh those white bits. <laughs> these... <laughs> where it's worn off. Yeah, yeah, literally these these white bits here where it's uh, where it's white is where my mouse has been running around it so much that it's worn it away because this cardboard was it's like craft cardboard, it's not box cardboard, it's like card you make. Yeah kids things from <sighs> anyway that's exciting isn't it what an exciting stream look at my worn away cardboard <laughs> tony that's, says that's what people are coming for obviously <laughs> tony says nathan infinity yes. minis 
Paint him your way, not the angel way. You're supposed to enjoy the hobby. I know, right? But yeah, I'd, maybe one day. Oh, I know. They, they, uh, they do look awesome, but I've got so many other minis to paint, and it's a game that I'm just not going to play, I don't think. But the, the minis look awesome, so I, I probably will do some eventually. But... I think he's got enough on. Yeah, I think I've got enough on. For, uh, na for now. Battle on, on the subject of awesome looking minis, though, I have got a couple of Batman uh, minis. I've got a, uh, a Poison Ivy and a Batman and the Bane that look amazing, and I am going to have a go at painting some of them. Yeah, he looked at me when he said that. Like, I've had the mages. I have, had, I have had the mages. You've seen them on the shelf in the office. Mm. Uh, Battlebane says, I was intimidated by Games Workshop box art when I first started. No, oh, yeah. And Tony he's... says, I just break all the rules. <laughs> hey, Red, how are you doing? You missed Gizmo Cam, Red. You missed Gizmo Cam. I'm currently trying to copy an Angel paint job on my mechs, says Karaniko. Utter madness, <laughs> I tell you. Definitely. There's uh, there's another one to look at as well, you're probably aware of. Next Level Painting, Kenny Boucher, I think his name is. Oh, um, uh, right, and I once saw a bit of a video where he was airbrushing one of the, um, the mech uh, things. The Infinity... Is it called a Gija Squadron or something like that? It's like a big mech, like an orangey yellow colour. And he was airbrushing it. And I was, it, it was just insane. So he's holding the mini and he's airbrushing it. He's going like, psh, psh, psh. Uh, Oh, we'll do that bit. Yeah, and that bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. I think that'll do. And it just absolutely looked insane. Just, uh, Look, look, shake that booty, you humdinger, ringer, dinger, ding dong, sha la 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 wah, bam, believe it, wah, bam, do. Whoop, whoop, da ba do ba ba wah ba ba. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much, Wicked Day. I can't hold the camera, the light. I'm just gonna click the button. Yeah. yeah, Kenny, Kenny Boucher was awesome. Absolutely, uh, absolutely awesome. Red says, Kenny's a madman. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've not watched any more of his things recently. I just don't get time. I'm like, one of my uh, one of my friends tells me about videos that he's watched and rec recommends all the time different channels and things. And I just don't get time to watch them. Do we? Don't get time to do all that kind of thing. I am I am going to attempt to watch more, so I can pick up some tips. You say that all the time. Are you uh, showing us? Uh, yeah, and this is this is what he looks like so far. The uh, the roughness of uh, Mr. Goblin. That's all. Right. Mm. There he is. Uh, all express colour, apart from his axe blade and his helmet, which are basilicanum grey from Games Workshop. He's a bit shiny at the moment. A lot of uh, wet paint on him. So we'll uh, wait for him to dry. Tony says, Battlebane painted a GW Mini recently and completely ignored the studio a lot. Unsurprisingly, oh. no one likes it, but it was a giggle to paint. No one likes it? I don't really like it. What was it? Uh, oh, all curled up. Yeah, he's asleep now. Mm -hmm. He's had three treats from, from John and that's it, he's gone to sleep. <laughs> I really, really dislike that guy. Sorry, says Karen Inca. The, the guy you were talking about. Oh, Kenny Boucher. This is like me blasting through some RCL entries in the final days. Yep, that's, uh, <laughs> that's what he's doing. I don't think he's ever painted a, a, a mini in, a whole mini in a stream. Yeah, I have, I have. What? I painted uh, nicely. In a, in a stream the other week. Oh, you got to eat some sweets. Okay. It was the Leagues of uh, Votan person that uh, Tony painted. That looks awesome, Tony. How can you say nobody likes it? Loads of people said that they liked it. I like to watch the hot chicks paint some need from the kid and Mr. LJ. What do you like? Right then, who who redeem eat sweets? Wicked day. Which which one? Wicked day. Which one? Blue, green, pink, or red? It must be pink. What's going on with glasses? Something on them. 
pink. A pink one. What's this? Watermelon. <laughs> Watermelon flavour. Get all the rustles. Watermelon flavour. Let's have a go. Not pink, says Red Snail. Ah, oh, wicked D picked. It's going in. Yeah. Te technically viral, wasn't it, Tony? Oh. Is that one not very nice, my dad? Hardy! Mmm. Watermelons are always uh, known for how lovely they are uh. in sweets. I can't remember them being... I'm sure I had one of these before. I can't remember it being this mean. I don't know. It might be the beer. Yeah, probably. You're right over there. Yeah, it's horrible. I think, I think it's the... I think, <laughs> I think it's the beer. Yeah. What, and then you add some more beer? Yeah, of course, yeah. That old Bane redeemed a hydro. <laughs> uh, had, to, had to have some more. The watermelon ones are lovely, says Methusis. Yeah, it's alright now that I've had, got past the initial... <laughs> yeah, watermelon's minging, isn't it? Just in general. Nobody wants to eat that. <laughs> no, just, just chuckling to myself because I've just pulled some weird facial expressions, which is probably what Wicked D was hoping for all along, isn't it? That's what you should have done, you see, Wicked D. Redeemed hydrate and sweets at the same time. Mm. So he has to have beer watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Poor watermelon, says definitely. Oh, this is never going to look like flames. I'm giving up. I'm giving up on flames. I'm, I'm, I'm just deciding it's a tiger man. <laughs> Stripey tiger man, that's what he is. He's, he's, not, he's not on fire at all. He's from the jungle. Oh. Oh. I am giving up on it. Never understood why people like watermelon. It doesn't taste like anything to me. It's just yeah, it's just it's like water. Yep, yeah. it's not my uh, not my sort of thing. These are actually a uh, what's up with Wicked D? Um, these actually taste like watermelon. Normally, things that say that they're a certain flavour taste nothing like what they're supposed to be. But these do actually taste kind of watermelony. 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 It's nice in the summer when it's cold. Yeah, hey, I suppose so. Yeah, I could, I could see that. Where's that little gopher thing driving to in such an erratic mm. fashion, Dan? Hi, Dan. You've just missed Gizmo Cam and uh, Nathan eating sour sweets. You should have been yeah. here sooner. Where have you been? Uh, I think you'll find there was a second Eat Sweets Redemption, says so, Wicked Day. Yeah, sorry, we must have missed that. Oh yeah, there was. Yeah, sorry. It was after the hydration. What? Uh, what do you want? What flavour? Tell me what the flavour. Because we've still got this one. <laughs> it's still in his mouth. The blue one. Blue and green. I had some lime ones, and they were divine. This is the way. So, how much is that A10 model? May have a few weeks off to build one soon. Uh, depends which one. Depends because there's different scale ones. There's a 148 scale Tamiya one. We've got some 172 scale ones. <laughs> does the does the erratic driving go for not realise that it shook? Cause it's too late now. <laughs> Well, you should have some beer with them to the, your mouth. Mm, the website's open 24 hours though. <laughs> what the gopher? We were saying where the... I know. I know what you were saying. You're right. 
Yeah. Beer definitely makes it worse. I was I was telling uh, I was telling Nathan uh, about your job situation when you'd put it in the discard because I knew he, he wouldn't have seen it. No, I haven't seen it. I'm afraid. I'm uh, sorry to hear that. Hope uh, hope you find something you want to do soon. Yeah, build a plane. <laughs> build yeah. Well, that's, you know. Got to have a bit of time off, haven't you? I said I was going to have some time off when I left my day job. <laughs> and then we just ploughed straight in. Well, you know, you didn't really have any choice, did you? Mm. So, what are you doing now? So I'm now using some copper brown express colour to just paint the haft of this little guy. Don't axe. forget how tiny he is and we can't really see what he's doing. Yeah, sorry. So the express so, colour so, then. So now I've only got to paint massive minis on stream from now on. Yeah, well you've got your bus to paint. Nathan, what is your opinion on the new lion model? I like it. I like it. I'm not overly impressed that they've packaged it with um, blade guard veterans as kind of like a bodyguard because it's supposed to be coming out with some artwork first isn't it mm -hmm. no, no. Mm. excuse me there was an article about it today but i haven't um... mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sorry there was an article about him today but i haven't looked at it yet so, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Dan's, uh, Dan's also in a, a looking for work situation, I believe. So He's enjoying some time off. Again? Mm. Oh, no, he's, uh, I think he's found a, found a job, haven't he? Oh. But he's looking for another job. Uh, and Red says, plenty of factories around Bev Hall and Drift, but need cash for the hobbies. Yeah. Battlebane... Uh, I think it agrees with me about the <laughs> about the blade guard. Yeah, well, they never packaged Gulliman with um, bodyguards, did they? Seems like an odd choice. Or is it is it that they don't trust him? I wonder if that's kind of the thing. So everyone always thought that the Dark Angels were a bit dodgy, and this guy's been missing for ten thousand years. So yeah do the uh are the, are the blade guard veteran really there to keep an eye on him make sure he's not doing anything super shady don't know maybe he's um alfarious in disguise robots in disguise there's a new transformers movie coming out this year i've heard one. yeah now it's a special one-off box with the lion and three guards, but it'll get a separate release. Ah, oh, well that makes sense. Something to do, a like, tie-in for the Ark of Omens thing. <clears throat> so that'll be something that we're limited to for when we have to order them in. Just like the uh, boarding patrol box sets and what I'm here. No idea how much uh, that'll be, I'll have to have the... I can't remember how much Blade Guard are. I think Blade Guard are about 30 quid out of the, something like that. So, three Blade Guard and a Primer, it's got to be 60 quid. Red Snail uh, says, Dark Angels are well dodge. More dodge than an orc with a bolter. Do you remember orcs used to have bolters? Back in the, back in the day. Before they just called them shooters. Yeah. Was, uh, every, everything was a bolter or a bolt pistol and now they're just shooters yeah. more dacker that's what you need back in there yeah 
We're having a whole conversation in the Discord today about old computer games and consoles. Oh, yeah? Everybody went back in time. What, like... I don't know what that was. That was my, like, going back in time sound effect. Oh. <laughs> No, not not like that at all. <laughs> Thanks for this 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 this. this, this. Oh, see you later. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> well, if he remembers too, then you know he's calling himself old as well. I got called embarrassing by a little miss today for the mm. first time. That was quite funny. I must try harder to be more embarrassing. You know what? She did say what you'd done, mm. but I couldn't really hear because I had my hood up and it was raining and I you were made, in front of me. I made aeroplane noises going round a corner. Ah, right. But my... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> went that was all. But there was people around. Yeah. Mum's embarrassing me. Yep. But there was people around. Dan says, I just found a game that I used to play called Heads, which was 1997 and made by Hasbro Interactive. Oh, I was too busy getting drunk in 1997. There's a um, wild Pokemon in chat. It wants some attention. It's bouncing backwards and forwards, pretending to be a reindeer when it's actually a bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> if only I could floss. Too old for that kind of movement. Creak when I walk. <laughs> Not sure why the Dark Angels are dodge when we have space wolves which turn in werewolves and space vampires. But no, it's the Dark Angels they have a problem with, says Red Scope. Uh, why do they have a problem with the with them then? What's what's there? Well, it's because the Dark Angels homeworld or or the, the planet that Lionel Johnson landed on is basically a chaos infested like death world. Um, and loads of random chaosy monsters live in the forests and what have you. Um, uh, and the knights of the Dark Angels, or whatever they called it at the time, the Deathwing and the Dreadwing, and all these kind of things, uh, went out and, and fought the monsters from their big fortress and kept all the cities safe and what have you. And then when the Space Marines turned up, to reunite the chapter with the Primarch. <laughs> um, he, he took he took a lot of the guys with him, and the ones that left got left there felt a bit lonely that they were left behind, and half of them turned traitor, which are, and they're referred to as the Fallen. I can't not look at you when I'm telling you things. When you've asked me questions, I feel like I have to look at you while I'm talking to you. But uh, yeah, so the ones the ones that are a bit dodgy are called the Fallen, but then people keep, because they've got such a fascination with trying to capture their own people that have turned traitor. Um... Oh God, I'm so glad I asked. <laughs> this is what I've got to deal with all the time. Every time I try and explain something, I find myself like stalling because I'm trying to remember something or whatever. Mrs. MLG gives me no sympathy whatsoever and just ribs me about taking so long to explain anything. Don't know why I bother. Anyway, what are you painting? Nothing. <laughs> so you've been using uh, Vallejo Express colours, yes? Uh. Which is like a, um, a wash type paint. It is. Similar to Contrast and what's the other ones? Army Painter, Speed, Speed Paint. Speed Paint and stuff like that. What do you actually think to them? Don't just say it's good or bad. <laughs> do they go on smooth? Are they easy to work with? Do they pull less than other brands or more than other brands? What's your opinion on the paint? I, uh, I really like them. The way... <laughs> <laughs> Mm, they okay. uh, they go on really really well. Uh, they're not too wet, not too wishy washy, shall we say? Not too fluid. They are. Uh, 
maybe a little thinner than contrast. Uh, go on really nicely, really dry to a nice matte finish I've found. Uh, I really like them. They're as good as and as useful as contrast with a slightly different colour range. Excuse me. Uh, and as you can see here, I've used a little bit of contrast and uh, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of contrast and some uh, express colour. We're going to do a little bit more with this guy yet once he's uh, fully dry. But uh, yeah, I think they're uh, I think they're tip top. I definitely prefer them over Army Painter Speed Paints. Although when the like new batch comes and they've reformulated them to prevent the colour bleed and stuff, then hopefully they will be as good. The only thing that I found with the um, speed paints that I have used, and I haven't used a lot of them, um, is that they, uh, they tend to dry a little bit shiny, and they a little bit glossy, and I prefer more of a matte finish. But I guess you could easily counter that um, with a, a matte varnish or whatever over the top, which currently you'll have to spray on, because otherwise you're just going like, to make all your mini into a big pool of mud. <laughs> but anyway. Each share each of their own. Some, I know some people really like them. There we go. That's that's what I think. Right, we're just going to get a little bit more green and put it in, socket it in around the eyes because uh, his eyes seem to be really, really yellow and not a lot of contrast around them. I don't know how many times this mini has been painted or whether it's just a bad moulding because it doesn't seem to have a lot of definition in his face. How did you find yours when you did yours? Well, I could hardly see it, so... It's only been, it's only been painted twice. And very thinly. Mm. Oh yeah, I suppose you've done him with the yellow, haven't you? And then I've painted him once and decided I didn't like him and then undercoated him again, so yeah. Twice already. Third time. Deathly's redeemed eat sweets. What colour Deathly? This is what we've got. We've got blue, green. You all just want me to pull some funny faces. Yeah. Blue, I, green, I like red or red. pink. I like this one. Red. Oh, yeah. I pick green. Them all, so. Green. Green. <laughs> Apple. Quite liked Apple the other day. What they're going to be like after uh, after beer, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. So have you nearly done your little bit? Oh yeah, he's. Uh, John the Templar is <laughs> splendiferous. Splendiferous. <coughs> Apple's all right on first insertion. So let's, yeah. <laughs> let's see what it's like after, uh, after a mouthful of this. Well, uh, actually, all right, all right, quite like this. Quite it's like this. Mm. <laughs> Definitely says that's some interesting word choices. Mm -hmm. uh, and Red says the Red Clan are making a hit on the MLG gaff this weekend for some retail therapy. Excellent, excellent. That's what we like to hear. Have lots of fun. We've got. You're uh, working this weekend, eh? I think so. I think uh, I think they can cope without me. Just wondered. Well, making been making plans that don't involve me. Nope. I just <laughs> wondered. Mm. Mm -hmm. I quite like the green ones. Uh, I was going to say something. About? I don't know. Can't remember. It's gone. 
I tried to shop today, but I got confused due to things being moved, says Pete. Don't move that much, Pete. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the same stuff. Have you even been in, Pete? I, I didn't see him, and I haven't uh, been on the shop floor all day. Have been downstairs most of the day as I've been uh, packing posts and stuff, but then I uh, had to nip out and. Little Red's done good at school, so getting him a model. Woo -woo. Awesome. Yes, it's test week at Little Mrs. School. She's doing okay, but the test things that they send through for parents don't make any sense. Your child got 72. Right, out, out of... No, oh, no, no, we're not going to tell you that. On this one, they got 12. It's like, yeah, is, that, is that really bad now then? <laughs> they don't yeah. tell you what the scores mean. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't get grades like A, B, C or D anymore. Map 4. And that's just, gen that's just general, but on a test scores, so they're just a number, but they're not mm. out of anything. <laughs> Yeah, map, map four and five and stuff. That's just in a general school work. Battlebane says I should be down tomorrow to get a few things. Well, it's late night Excellent. gaming tomorrow, isn't it? Is it Thursday late tomorrow? night gaming tomorrow. Late night Pokemon gaming tomorrow. Club tomorrow. Late night gaming yep. tomorrow. All happens on yep. the Thursday. Scarlet Violet Pokemon release on Friday. Yeah, giving up with the score thing. Yeah, Red, I don't blame you. We, we just say, is she doing what she's supposed to be doing? Yeah, that's all right then. <laughs> Don't make any sense. No. That's stupid. Need some more marine goodness, says Battlevane. Yeah. So, um, yeah, some Grimaldus and, uh, and some other bits and pieces, eh? Maybe. I've, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm playing Heresy against Jim tomorrow night, so need to uh, refresh myself a little bit of the rules myself. There's only one of me. <laughs> I don't know, why, sure. you know why I said that. Yeah. Chaplin on a bike, that'd be cool. Yeah, Chaplin on a bike's funky. See, look, this is a productive evening. I'm doing uh, bits and pieces. Bust. <laughs> Sounds like you're going to have a busy Friday night then finishing that bust as well. No, no, he works Friday night as well. So he um, he leaves for work on Thursday at half past seven and we see him about one o'clock in the morning and then he leaves the same time on Friday and gets home roughly the same time on Fridays. Um, and then and then I have a lie in until at least seven o'clock on Saturday. Yeah. Before the dog wakes me up. <laughs> Sat on your head this morning. <laughs> I was trying to ignore my alarm. You were ignoring your alarm, so Gizmo was like, "No, Dad, you're mm -hmm. supposed to be getting up. Let me just sit on you." Yeah. <laughs> it's seven o'clock. I get fed at seven o'clock. <laughs> Gotta make an MLG pilgrimage. Says so definitely at some point, but a six-hour drive is so far. It's not. You yeah. should make it into a holiday. We live near the seaside. Yeah, Let's get yourself it. booked in one of the local guest houses. We've even got a premier anything. Yeah. We should do an MLG meetup. I keep saying to you, you, you lot organise it. We're open. Mm. <laughs> All good with us. We need to remember to invite um, Lady P so she brings some cake. <laughs> I do love the Mr. MLG late night Thursday videos. Poor guy looks so tired. <laughs> yeah, it's because it's normally actually Friday morning <laughs> and his horrible, horrible wife makes him do videos. <laughs> I, he'll message me and go, I'm just packing up, I'll be about an hour and I go, you done your videos yet? Yeah? You done your videos? <laughs> My I... dog headbutted me this morning. Had fun sorting out a bust of lips at Battleman. Oh, yeah, no, he's, no. he's gentle. But he's gentle in the dog way, so he like, scratches your face in a, in a nice, gentle way, but now I've got claws down my face and things like that. I'm up for some cake, says Pete. MLG paint class and meet-up and barbecue, says Stephanie. And I don't think mm. the people that we rent the building from would appreciate us making a fire in the middle of the gaming floor. No, no. But we, I'm sure we could sort of something out. Yeah, this we uh, on on thir on late night gaming on Thursday and Fridays we get takeaway. We are the takeaway. All the local takeaways know where we are now. Yeah. 
the uh, there is a, uh, a local burger joint that we like that make some pretty awesome burgers. And Wiki D likes them too. Yeah. I think it's more the uh, more the smoke, peat and the smell. You know, I don't think anybody really wants to get those stock smelling of roasted meat. <laughs> a Texas burger. Yeah. I've only had one twice. The first time was nice. I was actually working at the shop on Thursday, so I, I got a takeaway. And then the second time, I ordered something different and didn't really like it. <laughs> it was uh, it was a bit powerful, wasn't it? Should I say? It was a blue cheese steak thing. So it was like a big baguette with bits of steak and various cheeses. All in it, and it was it was nice, but there was just way too much of it, wasn't there? Yeah, could have could have done to be about a quarter the size. I think. I don't even eat ah. Tony says you'll have a better attendance record than me at the MLG store. You should come too, Tony. If it's just us, you see, it won't be it won't be quite so dull. Yeah, yeah, it'd be cool. It would be cool. Bring, bring your have a, uh, have, a, have a Discord meetup. There's a wild Pokemon in chat. Don't know what that is. Its arms are too short for the rest of its body, and it's got skating knee pads on in case it falls over. Like its mummy's worried about it being outside. You get the blue cheese one. No wonder you didn't like it. I don't mind blue cheese to be fair. Uh, yeah, I go for the steak stuff. That's what it. I don't really like steak. I think that's. The that was half the problem. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be a steak fan. <laughs> anyway. But, but the one that Wicked D recommended mm. uh, had onion and some other stuff on it. She's going to shout at you and say, you can just ask for no onion. Mm. Which that's, that's what she's doing now. She doesn't even have to type it. I've done it mm -hmm. for her. <laughs> veggie burgers. See, I don't like veggie burgers um, because they always put all of those vegetables in that I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> They don't particularly like meat, but don't like vegetables either, so yeah. But they, they do do veg, veggie burgers, if, yes, uh, yes, if anybody yes. is a uh, vegetarian. And, they don't, and you don't have to have something from there, there are so many takeaways around us. There's a co uh, there's a Costa coffee attached on to us. So Quite much choice. Early, though. There's so much choice. I meant if you'd come for the day, oh, you know, so. like on holidays or something. Ah, sorry. I deleted it after you said it before. Oh, that's it. I knew. See, I knew. I knew what you were. It's fine. I'm there. I thought, to, to be honest, I thought you'd actually ordered me the one that you said and, and just asked for no what's it until it arrived. Ah, right. <laughs> so, so I ordered the wrong one. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I like the chips. Yeah, they're nice. Oh, this is a bit jaunty, isn't it? Oh, Wicked D caught the weird going skating with his pads on Pokemon. You need to sell cakes, then I will be more often. This book, we're not a cake shop, Pete. Uh, we, we, you know, it's not, it's not something that we do. Yeah. We sell chocolate bars and water and soft drinks. We used to sell crisps, but no one ever purchased them. And then they went off, and I had to eat them all, so we don't <laughs> do that anymore. <laughs> Cheesy what's it, says John. And people do bring their own food. <laughs> yeah, we need, uh, we do need more non-chocolate snack options. Yeah. I'm being requested uh, non-chocolate We've got snacks. some fruit pastels. We have, not, not many left because they've been really popular. Yes, the, the milkshakes and I like, I like the cookie one. I had the cookie one, that'll be. This makes me think of Antiques Roadshow, what the music? Makes me think yeah. of Riverdance. River dance. I've been to see that live. Mm -hmm. mm. What a treat. <laughs> I wanted to go, you get back. It's funny watching this as I would have definitely started with moustache and eyebrows and then worked down, not started at the bottom. Yeah, so I would, yeah. Never was anything the same as anybody else. Snickers is my go-to, says Battle Bay. We've got Snickers. What Snickers? No. No. <laughs> we used to have Snickers. We did. Next time we go to the cash and carry, we'll buy some. Depends what the cash and carry's got and, and how much they are. Because sometimes with things like Snickers and things like that, 
uh, they go up really ridiculously as the price of peanuts skyrockets and nonsense like that. Oh, the yeah, Snickers uh, milkshake. Sorry, Battlebane. I don't like nuts, so I wouldn't have had that one. I had the cookie one. I'm a, I'm a rebel. I apologise. Definitely. Rebel. Yeah, without a cause. Yes. So, darling, you've only got five minutes left. Okay. Yeah, even though Ricky is not streaming, so there's not really a brush. But um, have you actually done your goblin in, in an hour? Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, he's battle ready. Is he just dry? Yeah. He's uh, battle ready. Well, my dude's terrible. I don't believe you. He is, though. You don't have to believe me. I know. So, what colour are you using on that then? So, this is. Um, what is it? Carrot top red, carrot top red we're using, which is like dark orange. I would say that this is similar to squig orange. Is that a reaper colour? Uh, this is a reaper colour. Squig orange is a citadel yeah, colour. I know that. I know the colour that you're using. Oh, sorry. Yes, this is a reaper colour. It's part of the red hair triad, which I'm not sure if it's still available. I watched the new Elvis film today, says Ricky Dean. What, what did you reckon to the new Elvis film? It's not something that I would watch, but uh, I have seen it advertised. It's not my El leg. Elvis? Elvis. You, you know who Elvis is? Yeah, I didn't know it was a film. Yeah. Well, that's the thing now, isn't it? Making films of famous people. Uh, so you had Elton John and you had Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, and right. Oh, it's Elvis's turn. Oh, is this is this the thing that I've seen, or the reason that I've seen things about Elvis recently, saying that his manager was taking advantage of him and all this sort of jazz? Absolutely no idea, darling. I don't know what you've been watching to know the answer to that. Sorry. Uh, Tony says, I knew it! I knew that Elvis wasn't dead! No, he's living in a retirement home. Yeah. In uh, somewhere in America with a with a mummy. A mummy. Yeah, they have a mummy. It's, the film's called Bubba Hotep, isn't it? It's got Bruce Campbell in it. Um, it was okay, says Ricky D. It was a little confusing to watch, but I don't know if that was because of my lurgy brain or the film itself. <laughs> Still works in our chip shop too. Mm. <laughs> What's that called? I can't remember what it's called. There's a bloke down the chip shop where's his Elvis. Well, yeah. I know, I know that bit. I don't know. I don't know what the song's called. What's that song called? <laughs> Is it just called There's a bloke down the chip shop where's his Elvis? What are you doing now? I'm just uh, tickling the hair. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Red knows what I'm talking about. Bubba Hotep rocks with President Kennedy. Yeah. Been a long time since we've seen it. Oh, now look what you've done. You'll have to watch that as well now. Yeah, yeah. I think we talked about it on stream before and then we couldn't find it on any of the streaming services that we have access to. Now I never know what anybody's talking about, so... This is all to, to lull you off to sleep. Mm. Lull you off to sleep That's music. Perfect for coming towards the end of a uh, end of the stream, get you all relaxed for. Well, the dog's been asleep the whole time. Uh, sitting on the sofa with a cup of tea. I've got some cards to finish. And you you need to go back to the shop, so Did you put the van battery on charge? No. Wow. No, I'm going to go to the van after uh, go in the van after the stream to the shop, says Mr. MLG. Mrs. MLG said, Well don't forget to put the battery on charge because the van never starts once it's been stood. Oh, absolutely. Have you mm -hmm. done it? No. No, I forgot. 
Maybe, right? Sounds like an advert for a bank. It does, Red Scope. You are completely correct. It does sound like an advert for a bank. With a black horse running around. Mm. Why is it that they don't just advertise bank stuff anymore? They're turning into perfume ads. The, uh, <laughs> the current one with the black horse. I uh, I thought it was a uh, a different kind of advert the first time I saw it. I thought it was going to go like ah body form, body form for form you. Advert. I know, but then I realised it was for the bank. Hmm. It definitely says sounds like my van at work. Got to plug it in if required. And yep, that's what you have to do with ours. It's because it didn't get used, you see. Oh, we've gone into some weird horror movie now. Low budget horror movie, obviously. Here we go. We'll look at that side because I haven't finished the other side. But how was how was that looking? How was that looking? It's all right. I think so. Yeah, we've got uh, got to go back to the shop. And uh, in fact, I might, I'll just finish this hair. There ain't that much more to do. Finish this before we finish streaming. Um, but. Got to go back to the shop and pick up the uh, Green Stuff World. Has this Green Stuff World got Tony in it? It has. Should have. I can't even remember what it was, but I knew there was something for Tony. Yeah. So, need to go in the van because it won't fit in the car. There are many large boxes. someone to jump out with a knife <laughs> or maybe like a video game like a video game horror thing which is better light brighter or darker <laughs> yeah it's gonna come to life with this music <laughs> Yeah, I do. I do like it. I've got a bit more, a bit more work to do on it yet to get it how I want it. But it's. Um, right, yeah. you've got two days. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, I like it. I like how I like how it's coming along. Plenty, uh, plenty of layers to do. I think it'll. Be... What I'm thinking is that it's gonna, uh, with what I've got planned to do before the end of the week, it's gonna look quite all right. And then, if I ever want to go back and do anything else to it, I can, can't. So, when, when are you I'm, doing your plane? When I'm feeling adventurous. Plane. Well, I need to finish this guy. And then we'll start, start April with the plane, I think. Although I've got all my space marines to do. Might have to postpone plane. Mm, no, might have no. to postpone. We all already knew you weren't doing the plane. Yeah, might have to postpone plane until May. Or at least until I finished painting all the space marines. Now, 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 everyone's jumped out and said "Happy Birthday" or something like that because the music's changed into "Ha ha, that was just a trick." <laughs> mm. It's really a cool party vibe. I mean, there isn't that many space marines to paint. There's only about forty or something. Maybe 50 and some drop pods. I don't know what you're messing at. I don't know. Well, I need to get the airbrush out and do me. Get the base coats layered. On. No one's stopping you in there. I don't know. Time. Time is against me. There isn't any time. Couldn't do it at the weekend. We were busy, weren't we? No, no, Reg, she's not now. It's just us. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> 50? Not many. More than one marine is loads. Yeah, I wouldn't want to paint any space marines. Only 40. You'll get that done in a couple of days, says Kevin Nicole. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm fairly confident that once I've... Hey, Azriel. Hi. 
Is that for Chilcon? No, no, we're not going to Chilcon. Is there some kind of dwarf painting competition? But, no, they have a painting competition at Chilcon. Ah, this is for the great MLG brush off. Out of your comfort zone for March yeah. is the uh, is the category, and next month is animals. Out of, out of my comfort zone because um, it's out of his comfort. It's yeah, because it's got so much skin on. I hate painting large expanses of skin. What uh, what mini are you going with, Azrael? What are you painting? I remember the. Uh, I think I judged one of the categories last year. Hmm, I vaguely remember something. Yeah. God, this is awful. I can't remember. Who's making it work? What, uh, what are you going with? I painted a 40k mini as out of my comfort zone, says Jen. Yeah, and it looks awesome. There's a wild, um, Sheldon? Is that like some kind of uh, Big Bang reference? Yeah, maybe. They are, uh, what is that? I think, I think they are pebble. scraping the barrel sometimes with the names. It's a pebble with a moustache and a mono brow. Loom Boss on uh, a cave squig, goth rocker and parasite of oops, move, Mortrex, only entering three categories. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, we're not. Um... Maybe you could sneak up to the show as an ordinary visitor and just have a big map lined with rows of minis for Sarah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we could we could go to Chilcon for the day. Uh, what are you gonna do with the dog? Uh... Put that right in the front of the camera again. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I would have got away with it too if it wasn't for you pesky kids. You're gonna have to wait till the Pokemon goes now. Yeah. There we go. I'm gonna. I am gonna. Oh, let me show you me uh, goblin. Oh. I am. I am gonna do a couple of little uh, alter alterations on him. Couple of little. Oh, uh, so you haven't finished a million. No, no, oh, no, no I've failed. Epic failed. Boom. Might do a, uh, might do a couple of little highlighty bits on him just to make him look a little bit more interesting. But yeah, Gob goblin, basically done. Basically done. Tabletop standard. Tony caught the Pokemon. Tony yeah. caught the giant pebble with the mono brown. Tony. Tony for the win. Right then. Awesome. There we go. Right, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. You're uh, very, very best. Yep, confused me now. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. We are only going. So we've got, got to go and do some. Uh, got to go do some work. So thank yeah. you very much, let's everyone. See if, let's see where Gizzy is. Is Gizzy still still asleep? Are we having a, we're having a final Gizzy cam. Well, that's where I wrote down National Hat Day. That's honestly what that says. <laughs> there he is. Ah. Can't see him. Too blurry. Yeah. I can't, I can't do the thing and yeah. hold the thing. You'll yeah, have to hold too. the thing. All right. Oh, your camera works worse than mine. Oh, help, Gizzy Boo. What are you doing? I'm trying to find the dog. Remember, you have a delay. I know. Ah, look, I'll look at that camera. There he is. See? Bye bye, Gizzy Boo. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 What's that? <laughs> oh, you don't leave me alone. Bye, everybody. See, see this, is, this, is, this is how much space I've got for my feet. Oh, because the just dogs and uh, that's that's both my legs cramped into that space because the dogs here where my legs should be. Windy, windy, windy. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. See Cheers, you everyone. On Thank you. Bye. Bye.